All right, hello mod two back end. How's it going? Uh, we have a little tutorial here on how to refactor an existing Rails app without Factory Girl to start using Factory Girl in our RSpec unit tests. Uh, so everything we learn for the model test will be transferable to feature tests. Uh, it's just a little easier to demonstrate uh, some associations and things like that. Uh, so we already have some reps in this repo, the relationship practice exercises. Uh, so there's a new branch with Factory Girl. And go ahead and follow these instructions. Feel free to pause to get set up there, but we're just going to go ahead and move right along. So if ever uh, you run into some problems, go ahead and pause the video, troubleshoot from there. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and pop into the code. It comes uh, out of the box, ready to go. Let's start in our gem file. It is using Ruby uh, at least 2.3.0, so you'll have to update that. Uh, but you'll see I've added pry, of course, uh, rspec, factory girls, and shoulda matchers. Uh, so to set those up uh, with rspec in our Rails helper, we have this require line uh, for the support directory that we'll go into in a minute, and also some shoulda matchers configuration. Um, this is just a nice way to uh, run some very simple tests that we'll, that we'll point out in a, uh, as we get into the tests. And again, don't worry too much about this. Uh, more of the focus is to get practice refactoring. Um, you can, again, always pause if you want to see how I actually configured stuff. In support, we have our factory girl set up with database cleaner. Uh, and then we have a factories uh, empty folder just ready to make our actual factories. Um, because this is a uh, where Factory Girl will actually look for factories. It's better practice to have separate files for each model than to have everything all in one factories file. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go to our first first model spec. In this case, we have albums. Uh, as a high level overview, this is very similar to the reps you've been doing. Um, we have. Uh, tracks belongs tracks belong to albums albums have artists uh, tracks also have media types and genres and tracks can belong to many playlists and playlists can have many songs so we have a many to many there um, in this case uh, here I have just asserting that the album responds to title and I'm using the active record model to make a factory so let's start here uh, instead of using the active record model, I'm going to use Factory Girl. And since we've included the syntax in the Factory Girl RB in the support directory, I'm going to eventually be able to do something like this, where I can create an album. In this case, actually, since I'm not creating a record here, I'm just doing new. I want to actually say build, so this won't save to the database. And we'll talk about why we want to do that uh, in a second here. So let's plan on that. And if I run just my uh, album test, models album, and CR is just a shortcut for clear and bundle exec RSpec. Uh, so just an alias I have there, clears the screen every time. If I look at my first error, I have an unregistered factory album, right? And this makes a lot of sense. We're kind of test driving our factory setup, which I hope is helpful. So let's add that, let's touch to spec factories, and we're gonna add albums, RB, so it's the plural version of the model. So we're gonna be making albums. So we have the albums factory. Open this up. And at this point, I actually don't fully remember uh, how to set up the factory. So let's go ahead and go to the factory girl docs somewhere on GitHub, figure out how to set up the, the kind of boilerplate to define a factory. We'll go. Wonderfully fast, okay. Um, so I wanna be able to say factory girl dot define do dot define in there and then here I define the actual factory just double check that so I say factory the thing I want the attributes it should have so as we showed in class um, in the epically confusing lecture 
when you have RSpec configured before you make your models and Factory Girl, this will auto populate. Uh, but here we're just getting some nice reps of making it ourselves. So I want to make a factory album. Let's go ahead and just see if this is getting picked up in the tests. Cool. So that means it did. Uh, so I've effectively refactored. In this case, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's the same amount kind of lines and um, has, communicates a similar idea that we're just building an album and not saving it to the database just to assert that it has, that it can respond to a title. Awesome. The reason that that works here is uh, when we, as we get into actually setting attributes, if that's for setting the value, Factory Girl is going to look at Active Record and uh, look for values on that. Okay. Awesome. So let's uh, refactor this next example. Here is what I was talking about with should have matchers. It gives this nice one line syntax to validate the presence of uh, title and artist. So if we go to our album model real quick, you can see that we're expecting to validate the presence of title and artist. And we're going, you can also use it for uh, associations, but for the, the case of getting practice with Factory Girl, we're gonna do some kind of longhand association checks. Okay, so back to the factory, let's have that ready. Uh, here in the album, since we already have that, let's go ahead and try to recreate this. So instead of using the album create, let's use Factory Girls create. So I'm resetting album here, you can see album is set here, we're gonna rewrite it with create. And yeah, let's go ahead and say that it has a title artist or a title mignonette and artist artist, which is set to the Avid Brothers, my favorite band. All right. Awesome, so we have some failures. Uh, factory not registered. Oh, this is because I forgot to say create album with these attributes. So when we're creating a record, we have to say create the name of the model, lowercase, or the kind of example that we want, and then we can override attributes if we want. Let's run this again. See what we get. Factory not registered again. Didn't save, which is important to do. Awesome. So we can delete that. Nice and clean. Uh, let's go ahead and do the same thing for album two. Go ahead and uh, delete this word. Create an album with the title Emotionalism and the Artist Artist. Cool. Test pass. You can delete that. Let's go. Uh, at this point, we have an interesting opportunity and we're going to start kind of diving into the weeds. So we're setting up this association with an existing artist. Um, let's go ahead and make an artist factory. Okay. So again, let's kind of dream drive this. We'll plan on taking out the active record model. We want to create an artist with the name, the Avid brothers. So we run the tests again. We have an unregistered factory artist. If you look in our history, we made the albums uh, Ruby file, so now we need to make the artist Ruby file. Artists, plural. Cool. Let's go ahead and just copy this syntax for now. Go to the artists, we'll paste. And we want to change this to artist. Now, if I run my tests again for album. What is our new error? Factory not registered. Did not save. Cool, so we should have a new error now. Interesting, the validation has failed for an artist because the name has already been taken. This is really cool because, whoa. Oh no, I have a recording limit? 